Before I start, I need to see a show of hands. How many people have seen the T. Boone Pickens uh, commercials on TV? Raise them up. I can't see the lights are high. You've got to put your hands way high. That's a lot, huh? Right, that's a lot of people. I love T. Boone Pickens. <clears throat> I love T. Boone Pickens because he has, with his own money, he put $75 million into his advertising campaign to raise the issue of energy independence. He's put forward his plan. You may not agree with it, you may agree with it. His plan is to use wind, solar, and domestic natural gas to help us achieve energy independence. But I think more importantly, what he's done is to help raise awareness of all of us as Americans that we really need to get into a dialogue around this issue of how we're going to deal with really our long-term energy problems. I have the pleasure of running, as Dennis said, uh, the gas distribution business here in the United States for National Grid. We're the third largest gas distribution company, but when you take our um, businesses in the UK and here in the US, we're one of the largest investor-owned uh, utility companies in the world. Uh, we have 8 million gas and electric customers in the United States. That makes us the second largest energy distribution company um, right here in the US. So you might be asking yourself, okay, Stavropoulos, what does that mean for me? Well, I think it means a lot, actually. Let me start with 700 billion. There's been a lot written lately around about $700 billion. And I think when you hear that number, the first thing you think about is the bailout that Main Street recently provided to Wall Street. And justifiably, Main Street is outraged, and deservedly so. But there's another $700 billion. Do you know what that is? The $700 billion that we shell out every year to send overseas to import energy into this country to run our businesses, heat and light our homes. And I think it's that $700 billion that we're beginning to get outraged about. We're beginning to work with our decision makers, our government officials, to begin to think about how we're going to address that. The National Grid, we want to take bold actions. Bold actions. You know, um, to those who much is given, much is expected. So we are the second largest distribution company in America. You should expect from us the best. There's three things that I want to leave you with today. Thank you. Go ahead. <clears throat> Thank you. There's three things I want to leave you with today, and hopefully if um, you can leave here with these three thoughts, I'll feel that I've done my job. First is that we need to make a massive new deployment of energy efficiency measures to help all of our customers find ways to use energy more effectively. We need to support waste management in other providers of alternative forms of energy and encourage them to help us diversify our fuel supply. And lastly, we need to find ways to address the climate change issue. And we need to find ways to radically reduce our carbon footprint. You know, a favorite son of Massachusetts, the former chairman and CEO of General Electric Corporation and a University of Massachusetts grad, I might add, Jack Welch used to love to say that you can't be a careful articulator of corporate policy, that you've got to be on the lunatic French. You've got to be on the lunatic French. Now, I don't know if I'm willing to go all the way to the lunatic stage, but I like to say that we need innovation in speed, we need innovation in scope, we need innovation in scale of all the things that are going to help make us energy independent. 